Hi everybody and welcome to Lifestyle Management. I'm going to walk you through your assignment. This is a goal setting. Now with Lifestyle Management we focus on a number of things that are all really important to our overall wealth, uh, you know, welfare and personal care. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go through this and I'm going to have you highlight three areas to focus on. If you look at what needs to be done, there's a couple of things that you need to do to begin. Now just to be, good, just to be sure we're really clear here, it's a goal setting assignment and it's due April 8th. Now there's a reason why it's down towards the end. And I'll get to that as we get through this. So April 8th, no later than 5 p.m., posted as a PDF. And you'll find in the uh, folder for that week, I believe it's week 12, you'll see a link to a post your goal setting assignment here. And that's where you'll post it. Now, at the beginning of your textbook, now this is another reason why the textbook's important. At the beginning of the textbook, actually in chapter one on pages 24 to 27, there is a wellness um, evaluation that you can go through that helps determine where your strengths and weaknesses might be. And that's something that's required in the assignment. So you locate that in your textbook, you complete the um, assessment, and then there's a wellness wheel, and that's located on page three of this document. I'm gonna scroll to it right at the moment and come back here. So. There is the wheel. It's actually on page four. So let's go back up here. So you can um, do, you first do the assessment and then start to set together as to which of the three chapters you're gonna focus your goal setting on. Is it gonna be chapter four around physical activity? Will it be chapter five on nutrition or chapter six with managing your weight? And I've given you a cut sort of like an examples of things you can use there. Now, um, whatever you're choosing to do in your goal, make sure that it can be measured digitally. I do a lot of running and I use a Garmin watch and the Garmin website and the Strava website to post all of my runs and keep an eye on how I'm doing. So I am able to post everything in there so you need to make sure that it's digitally enhanced. So that just means really that everything that you do in your goal setting needs to be time stamped. Now, ideally, if it's an app like a Fitbit or a website, any of those two things will allow you to download things that are time stamped with all your additions and all your data that you've collected. So that's really important. Okay. Now, what needs to be handed in so if we look at the bottom here what i'm looking at is the is the areas the five sections that you need to complete and it's what will be graded so the assessment is your wellness wheel plus the assessment that you did and filling in that wellness wheel um, keep an eye on the grades when we get to the rubrics it will give you a guide as to how much information you need to provide now the second part is your health behavior change. Now you need to be able to state this in a very measurable way. You know, for example, if you're going to improve, say, um, your physical fitness with some walking, then how do you measure whether you're doing better with walking? So in terms of measurable terms with walking, it might be how far you walk, how long you walk, what your respiration is, what your heart rate is. These are things that are measurable that you can determine over time whether things are going up or whether they're going down and whether that's meeting your goal. So let's carry on to the next page. Now I'm going to want you to write your goal out. Now you'll find on page 16 to 24 where making healthy changes there is included there on page 19 the SMART model of goal setting, and that's what I want you to use. Now, I know it's not the best in all instances, so the more that you can explain yourself, 
will be very helpful in me understanding what you knew about the specificity of your goal, the measurability, the achievability, the realisticness of it, and the trackability of, that, um, of your data. And then that brings us to the fourth point, which is your record keeping. So you need to add your record keeping, your device recording, whether it's Garmin, Strava, Fitbit, any other smart device, websites, even if you need to just do a screenshot, that is fine. What I don't want to see is any handwritten documents or any Word or Excel documents because those can all be created the day before the assignment and I won't accept that as acceptable data. Okay? And then the last part is the summary. So briefly, what did you learn? What did you think you would do differently if you started to gain something in your goal? How might you carry this on past this class? Or if you move toward a goal and it started to adjust to a different goal, what would that different goal be and why would that change be made? Okay, now the last thing I have to mention is that I'm aware that there's another faculty who in another program also does a goal setting assignment. So please, if you're in that class, and I won't name it, just that if you have another class that you're taking where you're doing goal setting, don't submit the same uh, assignment. We will be checking each other's assignment by name of student and the whether it's the same assignment. So please, an independent piece of work being done for this class. All right, okay, that's it. Now the reason why I should explain why the date is put down to April 8th is that in the first four weeks you should be able to do the assessment and the wheel and start to come up with your goal. So I want you to have eight weeks worth of data collected. So if you start in week four and run eight weeks you should be done in the twelfth week and then really all you're doing is just putting your bits and pieces together and submitting it as a PDF uh, into Blackboard so that I can look at it. Okay. All right, everybody. So let me, oh, let me just scroll down further. There's the wheel. And here's your rubrics. Whoops, sorry. That's your rubrics. So it's out of 65. You can sort of see where the bulk of the um, grading is coming from. It's, you know, the human behavior to change. So what are you trying to do and why are you trying to do it? The goal breaking down SMART into its parts, and then the record keeping system. These are the three bulkiest parts of this assignment. All right, okay everybody, that's great. I hope this goes well for you. I look forward to seeing your goal setting, and I really do hope you start to make some progress on what you set out to do so it can help establish some momentum to perhaps keep this going past um, the 12th week. All right, everybody, we'll see you later and have a good day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.